Hi, everybody. Welcome back. It's time for more Stray. Let's get going. It's time to go out into the world as a kitty. I'm so excited. Thank you for the welcome backs. I'm so glad he adjusted to the backpack so quickly. Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance, that's important, I think. I know we need to go up. Okay, we're going up. Just kidding, we're going down. <laughs> Wee! Look at this little guy. Look at this little guy. <laughs> look at this little man. He's on his morning commute to work. <laughs> so proud of him. It's a mural. Ooh. Wait, I remember the outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. Promise too. This postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Gained new item. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. They said go up, but I immediately went down, so I'm just gonna try my best here. I'm just gonna follow the path that... I'm just gonna follow the path that God gives me. Oh, we're still going down. Okay, sick. <laughs> we're going down. Oh, I didn't translate it! Safe zone. Okay. No! This is not a safe zone! No! Stop! Am I safe up here? Oh, I'm safe. Oh my god! A live robot! The slums. Hello? Oh. Are kitties outlawed? What? I'm a cat. I'm literally a cat. What? This music is really cool. <laughs> oh my god. Why is everyone scared of me? I'm a cat! What? I'm a cat. You know what you did. What did I do? <laughs> the little face. I'm just like, I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little guy. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. <laughs> no promises. I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> the noise is kind of funny. Cats will eat anything. My cats prefer trash over like actual food. It's really frustrating. Look at these guys. Hi. 
Talk with the guardian. You look lost. What do you need? What's this? Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. We gotta find Momo. I know, why are the robots wearing clothes? Oh, I can get hints? Wait, I wanna come see these guys! Oh, are they sleeping? I'm afraid to wake them up if they're sleeping. Our long gone ancestors, the soft ones, left us the city. Our home is their legacy. The soft ones? Is that humans or cats? It does kind of say humans, so I think probably humans. The soft ones. I'm not going to wake them up because they're sleeping. That would be rude. Can I get a... Mountain Dew? Oh! Take energy drink, speed 2k? Yoink! <laughs> it's mine now. Yeah, can I get a bee's trigger? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Do you want energy drink speed 2k? <laughs> I think I'll save it because I don't know who would want that. Wait, can I just curl up next to them? <gasps> ah. Oh my god, when cats sleep. Oh, it makes me want to cry. How can anyone not like cats? I know everyone has their preferences, but like, how can you not like cats? They're the best. They're the absolute best. They're so sweet. Oh my God. Evil people, monsters. They're so sweet. Okay, let's go. I'm allergic. Well, that's different, but I'm saying, I'm saying like, how do you specifically, without an allergy, be like, I hate cats? Oh my god. Oh my god, the joystick's not working! That's so funny. <laughs> the controls are wonky! Okay, there we go, we're good again, we're good again, we're good, we're saved. We're saved. <clears throat> I'm afraid of them, well that's fair. I think, I think what I'm saying is kind of obvious. Like I'm, I'm specifically talking about people who are within their ability to have a cat and hate them. I hope that makes sense. Access to the sewers is condemned because of the proliferation of Zerks. Stay safe. Stay in the safe zone. Okay. Oh yeah, cats can be, cats can be assholes sometimes. But that's what makes them great. Take safe's mysterious password. Oh. Mysterious passcode? What does it say? It's written, follows the numbers, but it looks like a binary language, a succession of zeros and ones. We must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It's probably related to this safe. I wonder who could decipher it. Maybe one of the robots? Cat scratch fever? What is that? I wonder if they would know. It's a very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this. All right, time to find a nerd. We got any nerds in our midst? <laughs> oh no! Dude, that's awful. Yeah, some cats are aggressive. I had a cat um, when I was a teenager that like was so aggressive and we didn't know where we went wrong like every time um every time uh like a maintenance person would come in or like the cable guy came in to like get our cable boxes or something i don't know um 
anytime like someone would come in, he would like start scratching them and like attacking them. And he was really strong. And we were like, dude, what is wrong with our cat? Like, but the same can be said about dogs. Like some dogs are aggressive or were, are, are like have been abused or whatever. Like the same can go for either one. It's time to scratch. It's time to scratch. Yes, ruin their furniture. It's pretty fun on this side, I gotta say. Like, whenever my cats are scratching my furniture, I'm like, no! But being on the other side, I get it. I get it. I want to translate this part. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I can't do with dogs, is, like, the constant barking. I can't. I can't. I'm definitely... Like, I love dogs. I love being around dogs. But, like the barking i can't do i would get such a headache and also training puppies looks so difficult it looks like having a baby like it looks so stressful only our ancestors can distinguish these colors it is said they once dominated the world the soft ones i want to meet them but i want to okay i want to meet them let's see what happens if i wake them up why go up there there's nothing there okay Never mind. They go back to sleep. Um. You really thought you'd take the elevator? I've never seen that thing work and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. <gasps> Happy birthday, Ronin! Wait. You gave us such a fright, we thought you were a zerk. What is a zerk? Yeah, Jasper was honestly probably harder than having a toddler. Honestly, it's rough. Kittens are pretty hard too. Oh, who are you? I take care of the plants. The humans improve them so much. Now they require very little light. I just add a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is an amazing technology. <laughs> Teach me your ways. I'm sick of killing my plants. What's up, guys? It's Ronan's birthday. <laughs> Meow. I lucked out with Addy. He was a saint when he was a puppy. Oh, my God. Yeah, that is very lucky. My cats were like, when they were kittens, it was so hard. Like, one of them would be acting up in some way, like jumping on the stove or whatever, and I'd have to go discipline them. And then while I was disciplining the other cat, or while I was disciplining that cat, the other cat would be misbehaving in some way. And it was just constantly running back and forth, trying to like get them to stop doing stuff they weren't supposed to be doing. It was hard. <laughs> it was really hard. Remarkable, companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. I got memory! At least toddlers mostly don't move, but a puppy can still be pretty huge and strong enough to bully you. Uh... What toddlers do you know? <laughs> Every toddler I've ever met has like superhuman strength and somehow gets into everything. And is like super like rambunctious. Toddlers, cause once they're walking, that's when they're like a nightmare. Toddlers are, no, I can't. Toddlers are powerful, dude. I babysat a toddler twice when I was um, staying with family for a summer and one of them would like grab my fingers and pull them so hard or like my hair or something. They are, toddlers are, toddlers are wild. Toddlers existing is great birth control. Yeah. On my flight back, um, well, one of my flights back from my trip yesterday, I was like sandwiched in between two different toddlers that were having like a crying competition. And I was like, yeah, there's, there's my dose. I'm good. I'm okay. Everyone says it's different when it's your own, but I'm like, no, it would still stress me out. <laughs> it's, it's rough. 
I feel so bad for parents who are like trying everything to get their toddlers to like calm down on a plane and it's just not working. I didn't mean to jump there. It was an accident. This music is so good. Sheet of music? Oh. Sorry, guys, we're going collect a thon. Clementine's notebook. I kind of don't want to read any of these. Oh, okay, never mind. It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They're in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. I don't know what this means, but it will probably be useful later. We should go see that Momo person who Guardian told us about. Okay. I thought that's where we were going, to be completely honest with you. I got lost. I got lost. The soundtrack is so good. I don't even know what you'd call like this genre of music. It's so interesting. The whole you'll feel different about your own is a dangerous lie. There are plenty of people that regret having kids. I've seen, I don't know if you guys have ever been on like, um, uh, it's like a subreddit called off my chest and it's just people getting stuff off their chest. They don't want advice. They just want to vent. And there are so many in there that are like, I regret having kids. Like, I love my kids, but I wish I didn't have kids. And I'm like, dude, it's really sad. I don't know. I just don't. I, I don't know if it's the way I'm wired, but I cannot see the appeal of having children. Everything I see about children is so stressful and difficult and requires like a su like a superhuman amount of patience and I just can't. And so expensive, at least in America, so expensive. <gasps> Who are you? Can we cuddle? Let's go to sleep. <gasps> We're sleeping. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's always the people who complain about their own kids constantly that are like, oh, you'll want them when you're older. And I'm like, if you're the example, then I don't know, dude. I don't know about that. Oh my God. The purring. All right, let's go. <laughs> Big stretch. Big stretch. Wait, can I talk to them or no? I can? Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Schwanito. There's so many robots! Meow. I had twins at 39, December of 2019, so hard. Oh my God. Twins, like one baby sounds like enough, but twins, I am sending you as much strength as I possibly can. Is this where I came from? Yes. So I should, oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, hold on. Also, this is nothing against parents um, in general, just kids. I do have beef with children. I do. <laughs> I'm beefing with toddlers on the internet and I'm not afraid to say it. Um, yeah, everyone has different preferences. I know people who are like, they love being parents. Like they feel like it's like they're what they were born to do. So that's different, but yeah, I'm fighting kids. <laughs> Please don't bother Vapora, she's so clumsy. Oh. Okay, let's go bother Vapora. No, oh my god, I thought I was like jumping to my death. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. 
How many have you dropped? There's none down here. You haven't dropped any. Anyways, I'm um, a head out. <laughs> I'm a head out. I have a question, but I don't know if it's spoilery. I've only been playing for like an hour, so I probably won't have an answer. Um. So where's the orange light that they said was? Oh, okay. I'm still looking for Momo's apartment. Is it up here? How does this work every time? Can I jump up? I can't remember if I've been here or not. I can't remember. No, I have not been here. Oh my god. Hello? How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. 42? If you guys aren't jamming right now, just leave. You don't respect me as a streamer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for vibing. Oh, this couch looks so nice to scratch. Let's go, Kitty. It's scratching time. <laughs> Thank you, mods. What did the mods do? <laughs> what are they up to now? God. <laughs> Art said, does the cat get a blicky in this game or no? <laughs> no, the cat does not get a gun, I don't think. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. I just get to mess up all these book piles. That's it. <laughs> Hi. I feel like there's something in here. Besides all the books I can knock over. Was it just the sheet of music? Okay, well, I guess we're leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't know where to go. Oh, who are you? Who is this? You look angry. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. You sound nerdy. Can you figure this out? Oh, you're not a real geek. Okay. You're just a fake geek. Fine. Well. Um... Oh my god. Ooh. <gasps> That's a brave kitty. Oh my god. Pet the cat now. 
It said that his apartment was up near here, so I'm like, how, how do I... Because that's the orange sign, right? Sorry if you're watching this and you're like, oh my god, the apartment's right there. I'm looking for Momo. Oh my god. Nothing. Okay. Um... Oh, is it locked? <laughs> Not for a cat! Hee <laughs> hee! Aww. What a coat. I want this coat in real life. <gasps> Hello? His face! Oh. It's never gonna work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you want? Postcard? This is a picture of the outside? Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone, and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that... That gosh darn receiver doesn't work. <laughs> we all know what the stars mean. It means gosh darn. <laughs> It means that god dang transceiver doesn't work. <laughs> I've told you guys, this is, this is an 18 plus stream only. Don't tell me to watch my language. It says god dang and I'm standing by this. <laughs> that dog nabbit transceiver doesn't work. <laughs> oh gosh golly, that transceiver. <laughs> Also, hi, Kristen. Good morning. Here for Kat. I cried. I just want you to know I cried really hard at the beginning. If anyone missed the beginning, I cried for like 20 minutes. <laughs> it was rough. It was a rough time. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. <gasps> Momo's notebook. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Aw, Momo looks so sad. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It is signed Clementine, Zbaltazar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Okay. I found some of Clementine's. What does it say? Outsiders. <gasps> it's a ball. No. Oh, it's changing music. Wait. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> no. I want you to play with the ball. Oh, I got it stuck. Damn. <laughs> Sad. I love how they all have plants. I think that's so cute that a bunch of robots have a ton of plants. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters. <laughs> I can't, oh, there we go, in diameter. There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Big blue sky. Can I take that postcard? Maybe not. Look at these plants. <laughs> Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun and fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it is the only celestial object known to foster life. 
According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It has a single natural satellite, the Moon, which formed soon after. The gravitational interaction with the Moon... <laughs> He's bored. The gravitational interaction with the Moon creates the tide, stabilizes the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its rotation speed. Well, Momo sounds like a real nerd, so let's ask him about... Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? I need you to crack this. <sighs> Who's the real geek? <gasps> Remember. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? I am LASIK. Oh, I'm under the bed. No, I want to jump on the bed. <laughs> Problem. What is this? Yes. Yes. I can't control him. It's hard. It's, I can't. The joystick is inverted. It's too hard. He's jumping like a pro, though. It's impressive. Your fridge is open. Oh, I'm scratching it? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I've been scratching, like, everything I can find. Scratch it all. Leave your mark. Good enough. What's in here? <gasps> Sheet music! I keep forgetting about the meow button! Knock them over. Yes. I love how they don't care that everything is getting knocked over. Okay, bye Momo. Have fun with your trauma. Nothing else, I don't think. I do have a cat! I have two cats. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. The sad face? We already visited this place, but we could check if there's other signs like that. Hmm. Hmm. I know that face. It's such a sad face. Hmm. I don't know where to go. It's tough. Like, I feel like it's easier to figure this kind of stuff out when you're playing a video game as a person, because then it's like you can only really use, like, the ground, I guess. I don't know how to explain this. It feels harder as a cat. <gasps> Who are you? You do look a little like a Zerk, from far away at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. Oh! Are Zerks the the things that I was running from earlier? Is that what a Zerk is? This whole time I've been like, what the heck's a Zerk? Are you okay, buddy? I'll take a triple shot of vodka on the rocks. <laughs> no ice. You're new around here. What can I do for you? Mm, are you a nerd? Okay, you're not a nerd. Do you want an energy drink? Okay. Uh, oh yes, everyone around here knows the symbol. It's the outsiders. They live on the upper floors of this area. You can probably talk to Momo about this. I did. <laughs> My man's. 
Wake up! Before I jump on your head. Oh! One, two, eight, three. Do they have a safe? You're about to get robbed by a cat. Say your last prayers. It's over. Oh, who are you? You want something? Uh, do you want this drink? I've heard that the barter man is looking for stuff like that. Barter man? Oh, it's the same thing I heard from the notebook. Okay. What's this? Jacob, employee of the month, September XX27. So, it says 1283. One, two, okay, there's got to be a safe around here somewhere. <gasps> Remember. Do they really consume this? Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans? Do you think I should try some of it? I don't want to disrespect- I don't want to be disrespectful of their ways. I mean, you're a robot. I don't know if you can consume things. <gasps> what you reading? This is the newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. Where are the nerds? Oh, am I outside? No, I want to find the safe. They consume s f floppy disks. I almost said something very different. <laughs> that was close. Where is your safe? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wouldn't it be here? Give me all your money. Okay, I can't see it. Also, this is off topic, but I think the, um, the constant zoom in and outs is making me a little motion sick. <laughs> it's making me a little sicky because it's constantly like going in and out and like zooming a ton. So I'm like, <laughs> we, <laughs> I hate getting motion sick. I'm going to sit further back so it doesn't happen or it doesn't keep happening. I didn't see a safe. Oh, well. It's just the way it is. I want to go out this way. <laughs> Give me fucking money! <laughs> that meow sounds like a honk. It's so cute. Barter man, super spirit laundry, grandma clothing, Elliot programming. I don't think I've been to any of these places. So... Oh, wait, that says bar. Where's barter man? Teddy? You do look a little like a Zerg from far away at least. Oh yeah, yeah, that's who we talked to, okay. So I think barter man is this way. Are you barter man? We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums has its threats and preparation is key. Okay. Barter man? I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. This is a music sheet, a masterful piece of art of a very renowned artist. It will cost you one energy drink can. I can do that. Thank you. What the heck is this? This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drink cans. Well, I don't know what it is. 
Marketplace. I don't know what the cable would be for. This is a set of electrical cable, the best at the market. Super spirit detergent, I don't have that, but maybe the laundromat would. Hmm, okay. Okay. I think super spirit laundry is this way. Nice hat. We got a yeehaw in our midst. <laughs> the angry voice. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. <laughs> Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. This is what sounds like when uh, those people on TikTok take like a microphone and put auto tune through it and then like ask their cat to say something. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> so upset. All right, well now I can sneak around. What else is in here, huh? Can I find some detergent? Meow. <gasps> yes. Nothing else? <clears throat> okay, well. Nothing else. Who are you? Oh, it's Zoe! Oh, well, at least Cosmo is making use of all that detergent. <laughs> I guess. Zoe with the yeehaw hat! Who are these people talking? Who are you? I left it in the streets, and the next day the Zerks had consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. All the weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare to leave our village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the guardian is the only one who can open this door. Hmm. Can I rub my face up against his leg? Yes! <gasps> the little heart on his face! Ah! I love you. I can do it to this one too? Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> it's so cute. What about grandma clothing? Who's grandma clothing? Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? You want something? Oh, I guess not. Okay, sorry. I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you bring me some electrical cable, I can make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Say no more. I'm on my way. Um, this way? Barter man. Barter man, where are you? I need my cable. I don't know. People keep asking me what I'm naming the cat. Is it like in game or just for funsies? This is a set of electrical cable. The best in the market. Yes, I have detergent. Oh, for funsies? Um, I'm tempted to name him Pebbles because I had an orange cat for like 11 years named Pebbles, and he was the best. He was the best cat ever. He was an outside cat too, so he would just hang out outside, go through gardens and stuff, and then come home at night and hang out. I feel like orange cats are born being Pebbleses. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is. Pebbles is very, like, it's a very common cat name, but I don't care. It's so cute. <laughs> <coughs> I do! I have cable! Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. <gasps> yes. I'm getting a poncho? Ah! There you 
you go, little one. It'll suit you well. How do I put it on? This looks really warm. Perfect for a cold robot. Oh, it's not for me. Fine. <laughs> I suppose. If we find a cold robot, I'll give him the poncho. I thought it was for me. I was very excited. This is... Yeah, it's not game of the year anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I take it back. If I could have worn the poncho... But no, I guess not. <laughs> Classic cat. Is this for me? Listen. <laughs> oh! Rip humans. I love that they kind of loved humans. I think that's really sweet. Rip humans. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. We're getting so many memories. Oh. Excuse me. Um. I haven't met a cold robot yet. Are you cold? No. What would a cold robot look like? Oh, I'm scratching metal? Oh no, stop. I thought I was gonna push the door open. Not scratch metal. Ugh. Ew, I have goosebumps just thinking about it. Blech. Gross. Oh, this is the Zerk person. Right, right, right. Um... There was one more place I haven't been to, right? That bottom one? Elliot Programming. Because this is... Oh, Elliot Programming. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Did it count? It did! Hi! Okay, well, I'm going in. <laughs> Yay! We were programmed to be slaves, but since a lot of days, we have a soul. Hope one day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell, Momo. Are you asleep? You're here for Elliot? He's just over there. Where is there? <laughs> Didn't even point or anything. Where is there? Oh, maybe Elliot's the geek! Hello? <gasps> cold robot. We found cold robot. Yes, can I help you? You look freezing. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. <laughs> Just like five seconds ago, I was like, how are we going to be able to tell that a robot's cold? Thanks for the poncho. Please come see me if you ever need anything fixed. Wow. You want me to read this binary code? Just a second. I need to calibrate my lenses. Here, it means doofer bar. Strange. Who gives rendezvous via binary code? Doofer bar. Oh, is it the is it literally the number that we found at the bar? The one two eight something eight three. We already found it. Okay, well, this place is neat. I like the vibes. I like the vibes. <gasps> A memory. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. 
It's what the humans would have wanted! Oh! That's so sweet! We don't deserve their love. Oh, am I pulling it down? <gasps> oh, there's a bar! Meh! Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me! So, it was one, two... One, two, eight, three. Okay. Let's go try it. Let's go try it! Um... Oh my god, where am I? I'm lost. <gasps> it's up here, to the right. No. Oh no, I got it wrong. Oh my god, where is the safe? I forgot. I forgot where the safe is. No! I've been looking for the code for so long, I forgot where it is! I thought it was over here! Was it not over here? I thought it was in this pile. It's right where you left it! Thank you, that's so helpful. Look at all the hidden gems in this trash. Pennies from heaven. Or from somewhere, anyway. Behind? Behind what? That doesn't answer my question. I love it when chat backseats, but they say, it's over there. <laughs> you remember? It's over there. That one. Donk. Can I get any more drinks? No. Okay. Here we go. One, two, eight, three. Yay! Give me stuff! <gasps> she music! Oh, it's the last one! I don't have them all yet, though, I don't think. It's right there! <laughs> no, I didn't remember. I saw it in chat before a mod took it out. <laughs> so I was like, fine. I have the information, I'll just go. Um, six... Seven... One, four, three, eight... So I'm missing... One... So I had one, four, three... I wish these were in order! I have one... Three, four, six, seven, eight. One, three, four, six, seven, eight. So I need two and five? Okay. I'm still missing two and five. I don't even know what the sheet music's for, though. <clears throat> I still don't know. Hmm. And I need all the other notebooks, too? To talk to Mobo? I don't think there was anything... Down here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't think that would happen. But it makes sense why it did. Maybe it's something to do with the relic from the merchant. So I think I need one more energy drink and then we can get that relic thing. I'm looking for any sheet music to play the guitar to add some ambiance. If you find any, bring them back to me. I live near the elevator. Oh, it's the musician. Oh. Okay. I wanna see if there's any like up here or not. I don't know if they're all gonna be in homes. Hi. Um, have I been in there yet? I have, right? I'm getting so lost. I can't remember where I've been. I can't remember. I feel like I have, but we'll go back again just in case. Yes, I have been in here. Oh. The way he just sends stuff launching into the sky.
Is she for gore? She did. I want to step on the keys. Let me step on them. Okay, I've been in here. doesn't look familiar. Have I been here? I'm going up so high. <gasps> There's a memory. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also occupied this... also copied this behavior. Interesting. I should have said. I felt like there was something else here, too. Maybe not. So, Midtown's, like, up here? Oh, but I can't go up there. Oh, I didn't even notice like the gigantic wall and stuff. Wow. Okay, so how do I get down? <laughs> That's the real question. Hmm. Just get down, duh. Duh. There's something glowing out of that box. Oh wait, no, it's the merchant, isn't it? Oh, it's not glowing. I just can't see. Um, I don't have anything for you. One, two. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> Say bless you right now, chat. You look lost. What do you need? Um, sheet music, maybe? Music sheet. I don't play instruments. Okay. Um. Mm. No. Okay, you're not helping. Fine. I'll just give all my music sheets. <laughs> Bless you right now, chat. Thanks. Thank you. Take this one. Cool down. I think I can play this. Look. 